Hey coders, welcome to episode 3 of our Gmail service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. This video is going to be a natural progression from the last episode. Here we're going to be talking about getting messages. So the top 5 methods for today are get messages, and this method will just return the message itself. From that we can operate things like get from, get data, get subject, and get plain body to get the data from that message. So let's jump into the code and see what I'm talking about. Let's use threads from our inbox for the rest of this video. So to access those, we need to get the method get inbox threads, and that is off of the, our Gmail app class, and that will return an array of Gmail threads, and we're going to store it in a constant called inbox threads. So to get the messages off of that thread, we need to first type in our inbox threads. And then if I just hit the period now, it's going to give me a list of methods that are from the class array. Because if you remember, this, this method right here, getInboxThreads, it doesn't return a Gmail thread. It returns an array of Gmail threads. So if we just want to access Gmail thread, we need one of those elements. Just for simplicity, I'll say the zeroth element. If you remember, JavaScript arrays are zero indexed. So when we say the zeroth index, what we really mean is the first element. Great, so now we have, if we hit the period button now, we have a list of methods that are from the Gmail threads class, which is great. So now let's say get messages. So this will return, an, again, an array of Gmail messages because there could be multiple messages within one single thread, but that's okay. Let's for now just wrap this in a logger log statement. Hit a semicolon for good measure. Save it, run it, and if we view the logs, and it is still waiting, here it is. So we have just one Gmail message, which totally makes sense, because if we look at our Gmail inbox, it just shows for this first uh, for this first thread we just have one message in here and by the way so when we say so if we say that we want the zero element so the first element basically that is ordered from top to bottom so earliest received to latest received so that's why we only get one message because it's looking at this this thread right here great so now let's remove the logger log and let's actually say this, these are going to be our messages. Great, and I'm actually going to change this now to the third just so that we can make it very clear what we're talking about. So I'm actually going to change it right here. So this is the thread that we're going to be looking at. And if we, so now we have our messages. Now let's look at some of the data from that message. So let's just look at it in plain sight first off. And it says bounded script was was granted access to your Google account. So that's fine. We did this in a pre uh, previous episode, and that's what it just wanted to tell me. So thank you, Google. Now let's look at some of the data that we can get from this message. So if we, again, if we just say messages and we type the period, we'll get a list of all of the methods that we can use in in an array. So because this get messages returns an array of Gmail messages. So we know that there's only one. So I'm going to say zero index in this array because again, there's only one message. Like no one replied, no one, no one said anything additional to this. There's only one message in this thread. And then I'm going to hit the period button. And then we get a lot of of methods that are a part of the Gmail message class. So the ones that we want to go over in this video are first get from and actually I'm going to type all of these out right now and then run it all at once. So let me just say logger log. I will copy this, paste it three more times and then instead of saying get from now we're going to say get date and we're going to say, oops, and we're going to say get subject. And the last one we're going to say is get plain body. So there is a method called get body, 
What Git body returns is the entire HTML structure. So all of the content wrapped in the HTML code. Most times we don't really worry about that too much. We just want to see what's what's in the plain body. And the plain body is just the content. So none of the tags. And that should be a little bit easier on our eyes to read. So let's save it and we will run it. And then we'll view the logs. And it looks like my loggers are or my logs are taking a little bit longer than usual to load, so we'll just wait a bit. Let's just verify some of the things. So if get from should be something like Google and get date should be up here. Let's see if if it's ready yet. There it is. So Google, yep, here is our get from. It said Google and then no reply. Here is our is our date, which is exactly the date, so February 16th, 4.46, and this is February 16th. Now this is 1.46, but then it specifies, yep, this is Pacific Standard Time. And then our subject, security alert, yep, security alert. And then finally, our plain body, and it says bounded script was grant access to your Google account as this. If you did not, check activity. So this is all of this content, but without any of the HTML or CSS or anything like that. We can just read it here, and that's a lot easier than having to cipher through all of that HTML. Great, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.